Hey guys, and welcome to week 37 of my devlog for Finding Home, the zombie game I'm creating. So this week, I, well, uh, last week, or um, it was my birthday, or the week that I was doing this video for it was, uh, I had my birthday on September 24th, and for my birthday, I wanted to try to put my game up on Steam and just get a first attempt in there. So, um, the storefront went solid, you got approved, the game did fail to get through, uh, due to the multiplayer, and I knew I didn't have a uh, multiplayer, I thought I had it set up, there's one of the things I couldn't test, um, and they did give me documentation and stuff on how to how to get it set up with them, and I think uh, the best way to get it set up is through Steam uh, themselves, so once I start programming and put it, setting it up through Steam, I'm going to have to pretty much designate this, this as um, my Steam project, so when I go to make it for other systems or other uh, stores like say if I wanted to put it on Epic I would have to have a different EXE for that um, so I did copy my game I split it up and so where I'm from now and everything going on I'm gonna have to go back and add that to another it's like programming two games at the same time almost but uh, I'm gonna probably focus on the Steam one first to make sure everything's good and, uh, and focus on that all right, for what I added to the game, um, I was like I said, I was focusing mostly on just organizing files and stuff like that and uh, blueprints, because uh, if the game does get up, I'm hoping the family and friends kind of help me with it or you know want to join in and stuff, and to have the folders nice and easy for them to understand will probably be the best. So one of the first things that I'll show you that I got in the game is swimming. It's one of the things I talked about before. You can see you swim in here, and uh, you can't you can't take out the gun when you're in the water, but you can take it out when you're outside the water, and then you so you can swim with the your rifle in your hand. And then when you're out, uh, you're good to go again. The second thing they said I was going to add is um, working on the ballistics and stuff because remember you shot and you had just like a, a beam of light in the. Um, that was kind of it, but so now when you shoot the ground, you have a uh, sand particles. You shoot the water, you have a uh, kind of like water spelts. Okay, you shoot the trees. They have uh, kind of like dust and that kind of like wood chips and stuff that falls off. I have to do the road still, but you can see that um, by default, I kind of have like very smooth. Um, and I have to do that for all the objects. But I have basic decals in, so that shows damage. But uh, yeah, so those are the two things I got in while trying to um, see how the posting of the game would work, as well as, um, like I said, uh, organizing files. So next week I'm going to be working on making sure the multiplayer works uh, and stuff, uh, and maybe some chat, like a chat box um, for multiplayer. Uh, and trying to resubmit it again and seeing how that goes. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for your support and watching the video, and I'll see you soon. Uh, ciao.